liberal values are not exactly consistent with the ideology of Zambia. Or are they? We decided to test this and went out to the University of Zambia and a few other places to find out. So are you pro or against abortion? Against. Why? Are you um, pro-life or pro-choice when it comes to abortion? Pro-life. Why? Okay, so are you for or against abortion? Um, I think I'm in between. Are you for abortion or against abortion? I think I am against. <laughs> Why are you against abortion? So are you for abortion or against abortion? I am against abortion, however, I am for pregnancy by choice, not by chance. Are you for or against abortion? Again. Are you for or against abortion? I am against it. Why? Are you for abortion or against abortion? I am against abortion. Why are you against abortion? So are you for or against abortion? Personally, I feel I am against it, but then when it comes to certain um, situations or circumstances, I feel like somebody should be able to choose whether or not they want to keep a baby. For instance, uh, rape and stuff like that. But when it comes to the spiritual front, I feel like nobody should abort and you really shouldn't be put in a position where you have to abort a baby. You get what I mean? Um, so are you aware that abortion is legal in Z and what do you think about it? Well, seeing that I feel like the illegal front is mainly because we're a Christian nation. So if you look at it from the point that I have put it, you know, there are people who really just don't want to have a baby because maybe they cannot manage to or the circumstances in which they got pregnant wasn't like weren't fine. Uh, I, I, I mean, different about it, honestly. Should it be legalized? I'm not sure. Should it not? I mean, different about it. So, are you a Christian? And if you are, what do you think God thinks about abortion? I think it's a non-starter. I don't think God is for the idea of aborting. That's, that's, that's not okay. I am a Christian, yes. And that's not okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think God would be happy seeing that we all know that um, whether or not you wanted the pregnancy, God says, uh, I knew you before you were even formed in your mother's womb. So I don't think he he's okay with abortion. I'm a Christian and um, the Bilika is speaking, it's not allowed. No one is has the right to um, take shot of a life. Even when the life is not yet out, I consider it to be a living, a, a human being. So, no. So you said you're a Christian. What do you think God thinks about abortion? It's among us the commandment, thou shalt not kill. Um, I, dis I think like uh, every uh, human being, preconception, postconception deserves life good did you know that abortion is uh, now legal in Zambia it actually has been for a while well um yeah there are like certain places that have been offering that like Marie's tops yeah they've been actually offering that so um I could say yeah, it's been legal but yet again you know like the I think the uh, the word hasn't been spread too much to everybody and so like certain people still feel like they still have to like utilize certain measures, um, illegal measures or like measures which are not approved, measures which are not safe. And so, you know, I could say, yeah, it's legal and illegal at the same time. So are you a Christian? And if you are, what do you think God thinks about abortion? I am a Christian. And uh, like I said earlier, um, I think abortion is not supposed to be like supported every human being pre-conception post-conception deserves their life thank you very much for your time thank Thanks. you because um, at times you may find yourself in a situation whereby you are forced to abort for example maybe 
you're at school, you may be about to write your exams, or maybe due to certain circumstances, you'll be forced to have an abortion. But then at the same time, me being a Christian, I'm not really for the idea. So I think it's both ways. I think I'm in the middle. Are you aware that abortion is legal in Zambia? If so, how do you feel about it? Um, yeah, I am aware. And I think it should be legal because, as I said earlier, we were, some, were sometimes found in situations where we have to abort. Like, it's a must. Okay, not really a must, but it's necessary that you do it. So if they legalize it, then it would be easier for those who want to do it. Why do you say it's necessary in some situations to abort a child? Why not sacrifice whatever you're doing so that you can have the child? But what if like, uh, you having an abortion is good for everyone? Because like, there are times maybe, let's say, you're the first born in a family, and you're in school, maybe about to graduate and all, but then if you, you become pregnant at that time, it means maybe you won't be able to write your exams or other things. So it means that you being pregnant will affect everyone else in your family. So it's better you're both than destroying the lives of everyone. And probably you won't even be able to take care of that same child that you bring into the world. Okay, so you did mention that you are a Christian, which is great. So what do you think God thinks about abortion? It's, it's a bad thing. It's a sin. It's a sin. That's why I said I'm somehow in the middle. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, as a Christian, I feel that's against God. I feel like that's sinning. Yeah, I mean, that's like killing a human being. Yeah. Are you aware that abortion is legal in Zambia? If you are, how do you feel about that? I am aware. Uh, I don't know how I can say it, but... Uh, okay, maybe looking at it from... Uh, okay, not the Christian life, but just this can give an example of a person who is still in school and the person is pregnant and the person still has a bright future. So maybe that's why the country came up with that. So you know you should go back to school and stuff like that. But personally as a Christian I feel that's wrong. Okay. So do you believe that abortion um, can be right or is right for some people and maybe it's for you since you're a Christian it's wrong but let's say if someone has other beliefs it could be right for them? Uh, like I said, as a Christian, I feel it's wrong, but for other people, maybe it's right. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Abortion is legal in Zambia. If so, how do you feel about that? Um, I don't feel bad or sad about it because uh, if someone were to have a kid, a good, were to fall pregnant unwillingly, uh, it's better to. Uh, I think that it's better to abort than have the baby that you're not capable of taking care of because that will just bring more poverty on you, something like that. I, I, that's my own perception. I don't know about everyone else. But, yeah. Do you think the issue of abortion um, is something that should be normative or something that should be relative? I mean, if you, for example, were to fall pregnant unwillingly, God forbid, um, you would clearly give yourself the option to abort, would you? Given the circumstances, yes, okay. I would. Okay, so, okay, so, um, are you a Christian? And if so, what do you think God thinks about abortion? I am a Christian. Uh, what I think God thinks about abortion, uh, it's prob it, it is a bad thing, yeah, but then I'm not much into the whole Christian thing. For me, I think that. Uh, Abortion is um, getting rid of a fetus, not a baby. A baby is when, some, when the fetus is, is born, when it's out, of, when it's in the world. So when you're killing something inside, that's not really, for me, you're not killing a baby. It's just, it's just a fetus. It's not yet human for me. So I don't know, call me evil or, <laughs> or something, but that's my perception. Because, well, I'm Christian. I grew up in a Christian home. We, uh, so, each and every one of my values was characterized by what is accepted in Christianity and what's not. So um, everything that I believed was pro-life, uh, pro, uh, you know, everyone must be given a chance. I believe everyone makes mistakes. 
and I don't believe innocent people should be punished for other people's mistakes. So, yeah. Okay. So by that statement, you don't believe innocent people should be punished for other people's mistakes. Would you, in a situation where a woman, let's say, has been raped, for example, um, do you believe that she has the freedom to abort that child if she doesn't want it, given that she doesn't, she did not intend for the circumstance to happen? Well, um, when we're talking about rape, uh, definitely you didn't see this coming. Like it's nothing that you had prepared for and then you find yourself pregnant then all those thoughts come like you don't even know the person you don't know where they're coming from and this is something that you have to take care of so in that situation I believe like I still believe she should go for it because there's a reason why it happened and why it was God allowed it to happen so, okay. so by go for it, just for clarity's sake, by go for it, you mean she should still have the baby? I think she should really consider still keeping the baby. So for you, you said you've been raised in a Christian home and you have these values. Do you believe that someone who hasn't grown up with these values um, should be able to decide or can consider abortion a good thing for them since they haven't been raised with these um, values? Yeah, definitely. If you're not raised in that sort of environment and your cultural the cultural society the society that you're raised in if you haven't been taught these things you shouldn't be blamed for well the decision is basically up to you our decisions are shaped and structured by how society what we've been taught what we've been exposed to so really you can't blame someone for deciding to abort something for lack of your knowledge you said you're a Christian. What do you think God thinks about abortion? Ish. I can't structure the mind of God, but from what I've learned over my entire livelihood is that, you know, he's just really, really against taking a life. I mean, you know, there are certain, we can't plan out our life and whatever happens in our lives. But when it comes to everyone, God has a plan for everyone. Otherwise, you didn't have conceived. So, starting from birth, God knows you from conception till death. So, if you are going to exist out of such a situation, it was planned for. Okay, thank you so much. It's not right. As a person, it's not right to kill a human being who was meant to be someone important in future. Who knows, maybe a person would have been a president or something. Um, are you aware that abortion is legal in Z and what do you think about it? Okay, I wasn't aware but if it is I'm totally against it. It's not right. It's just not right. That way it will encourage a lot of people to be promiscuous and just do things from their own free will which isn't right. Um, do you think there's any situation where it's the right thing to do like if you're a victim of rape something like that either ways i think it's just not right no you you think the the same uh, pain you felt when you are raped is the same pain that a person like that child would feel if you were to tell them that i almost aborted you and stuff they would also feel bad what do you think god thinks about abortion I'm a Christian and I think God doesn't like that. The Bible says do not kill. That's straightforward. So it's not, it doesn't specify what not to kill and what to kill. It just says do not kill. So it's just not right. To kill. Well, the reason I'm against abortion is because I value the, slight, the slightest bit of human life in whatever manner it might seem to be. Like Even if it's just a kid, it still has so much value to me. So I wouldn't really demean it by the size of how the package comes as a human being, but I still value it. Are you aware that abortion is legal in Z? And what do you think about that? Actually, I'm unaware. I thought it was something yet, something in the courts, like unprocessed yet and everything. It's actually legal. Wow. Yeah, there were actually thousands of abortions carried out last year legally. What do you think about that? I think that's tragic. Wow, that's, 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 that's tragic. It's, it should be looked into because it simply means 
people have a license to be careless. You may have noticed something interesting. When we asked people whether they were pro-life or pro-choice, they generally said pro-life. But when we gave scenarios, perhaps about somebody who was in school or just generally couldn't take care of a child, they seemed inclined to endorse abortion more. Why? Maybe we're not as conservative, more importantly as Christian, as we think.